Hi everyone, it's Andrew, welcome back. It is the time of the month where we show you what I did in August. So, as we move into September, I'm gonna show you what I coloured in the month of August. I have done, how many have I done? So that's quite that's low for me but that's okay I'm quite happy with that it's been a weird month so these aren't in any order so I did one from Halloween Karen book by Prachi Sachdeva Prachi Dewan Sachdeva and um, I did the first one in the book because I just colour these in order that they are in the book this was done using Arteza Everblend markers and I really enjoyed that. And I love the little quote on the first page. It's as much fun to scare as to be scared. I think that's just a lovely quote. But I love this book. I think it's really nice. So I'll be doing a lot more in this as we approach Halloween because I am into my horror now. Okay, so that's the first one. Uh, the second one again is from Prati Dewan Sachdeva and it's Halloween Colour by Numbers. So again, this is a simpler colour by number book, so maybe towards uh, kids more than adults, but uh, I just like it. I mean, look, it's a purple cauldron with pink foam. Who, what's not to like? Again, this was done doing the Everblend markers. This sort of browny, light brown colour's running out, so. <laughs> I, obviously, pet markers run out if you use them. It hasn't run out yet, but it will. I haven't got any pens to show you this month, because I always forget anyway. And I haven't really used up that much this month. So it's that one. I've done one in uh, Creative Haven Rose Gardens. I think everybody uses this book every month. I love this one, and I did this one. Now this one was done using the uh, thin markers from Amazon. I think they're called Gurks or something like that. I wanted to use different colours, so you see that came through because I've got to put a piece of paper in. But I really enjoyed, I mean, I love doing this book. I think this book is great. It's really, really nice book. And I'm doing them in order because I just find that easier for me. So next one I'm really proud of. And I did one from The Littlest Darlings by Kelly Horton. Again, this one and the two from Sachin, obviously, uh, uh, from, um, Prachi Such Diva, the, this one as well, is uh, Colour Your Hoard 2021, because I hadn't coloured in this one. Little Starlings by Kelly Horton, and I did this little girl who's out in the rain. And I coloured this one with the Bambino crayons. It's entirely done with Bambino crayons. Actually, every single piece, there's nothing else on there except for Bambino crayons. So I wanted to show that you could just use those crayons if you wanted to. I've layered two different colors on the ducks to get that color, the color I wanted, the baby ducks. Um, I used the palest pink for her skin, a little bit of blush because she's out in the cold. Her hair is three different colors. I've put the gray over the blue on the floor and in the sky. Um, and so on and yeah I really 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 pleased with the way that turned out just using the Bambino crayons so if you think you can't colour with just crayons you're wrong you can did a lot of patterns I did uh, one in intricate flowers by a jade of summer and I did this one this was done using Gurk's markers, the Amazon thin markers. Yeah, that was done using those. I had to think for a minute because I've used lots of different markers this time, but yeah. So that was with them. And I just like it. Was it though? No. This was done with the Bic Intensity markers. Yeah, this was done with the, sorry, I do apologize. Bic Intensity markers, the one I've, ones I showed you in my haul, these ones. So, yeah, I like them. Like I said, for something like this, they're perfect. So I'll be using them again this month. But yeah, that was what they They do come through, even though they are a, a water-based. They're just felt it. But, uh, yeah, really nice markers. I like them. Uh, then I've got Jade Summer Colour by Number Flowers. If I can get to my page. This was done with the Oh Hoo Hoo markers, just because I've got them all worked out, the colours for that. I like these colour by number books. I really, really do. I think they're absolutely stunningly lovely. So, 
Yeah, they're just really nice. Nice and easy to see. Although that bit there hasn't got colour on it. And I thought, oh, I'll colour it green and then I just didn't bother because it, it's not got colour on it, so. That's that one. And I did one in Colour by Number Beautiful Patterns. I like this book. I think this book's stunning. And again, this was Ohuhu markers. They're always going to be Ohuhu markers until I can sort out the other blends on this, which I will do, obviously. Um, but yeah, I like this again. I love the way they go. Oh, that's a nice one. Really nice colours. I'll be doing some more of these in the next month. I think the only thing I'll do other than Halloween stuff will be patterns because I like patterns. I did uh, one in 50 easy patterns. I'm not sure what one I did in this one, but let me have a look. Oh, this was using the Cosmic Sharpies that I got from the works, um, which was in last month's haul. They are now have just been bunged into my Sharpie collection, which I just use when I feel like it. Every now and again I want to colour something like this and I put out the Sharpies. But yeah, that was what I used in that one. Then I've got the Jade Summer 100 Amazing Patterns. And I did this one. And I don't know which pens they were. At all. I can't remember. The Amazon Thin Pens, I think. Maybe. Yeah. Nah. Maybe not. I'm not sure. I think it was the Amazon thin ones anyway. Terrible sometimes I am. Colour by number mandalas. <laughs> Another Jade Summer. It's been a lot of Jade Summer patterns this month. I've got so many pattern books by Jade Summer and I just love doing them. I mean look at that. It's beautiful. And this time it was this one. Again, this one's been done with the Oh Hoo Hoo markers. I love this colour. I think it's beautiful. I just think that one just looks really nice and I do love doing these patterns. I find them relaxing, especially in bed at night. I put some music on or I'm watching a video and I've just got and I'm just chilling out. And it's really, really nice. Although we are coming up to a couple of pages that aren't anything to do with Jade Summer or patterns. Yeah, a couple of the, the last few after this one. So colour by number patterns, this is the one I always forget I've got. I do like the patterns. And I did this one. Again with the Oh Hoo Hoo markers. I wonder if that red has turned to orange. I'm going through. No, it hasn't. So obviously I must have left the thing in long enough. Yeah, so again, the Oh Hoo Hoo markers. I like using them in this. I'm running out of battery. Uh, I'm just going to change my battery and I'll be back. Sorry guys, I do apologise for another three books of Jade Summer that I had coloured in this month thereby taking my total pages up to 17 I think. I'll check that in a minute. So I do apologise for that but I did one in the intricate mandala colouring book. Oh I love this book. Um, this was done with the thin pens from Amazon. I only finished that this morning. I Jen, when I picked Jen up. Um, yeah that was done with them and like I said they're perfect for books like this. Absolutely fantastic. Love them. So that was done with those. Oh here we go. I did one in Swirls for Beginners and that was done with, I have no idea, that was done with them as well actually thinking about it, yeah that was just one I did very quickly with the thin pens from Amazon, um, I don't do the backgrounds, I, I have in, on the first one I did a, a background but on that I've just left it white but yeah, so it was a really really quick one, maybe took me half an hour, so not very long on that one. This is an interesting one. So, um, 50 Easy Mandalas from Jade Summer. I did this one. Now, when we were in Hobbycraft, I bought some Crayola Twistables for Jennifer and me to play with um, when we're colouring her books. And I thought, you know what, I'm going to colour a picture with it, just a pattern. And I actually coloured this with the Crayola Twistables. And while I wouldn't use them that often, it was really good fun. And she loves them. She especially loves the multicoloured ones. So she's got those. <laughs> so I do apologise that I forgot this one. But yeah, this I mean, yeah, they were fun to fun to use. I like I said I wouldn't use them very often, but there's nothing wrong with the twistables. I enjoyed using them. They yeah, you know, they were a laugh. It was, it was good fun. And me and Jennifer have been having a lot of fun using them downstairs in her colouring books as well. Because she loves the, the ones that are multicoloured. I did one in 
Romantic Country, the second tale. This was a buddy colour with Molly Newland. Hello, Molly, if you're watching. Um, we have posted this on Instagram and we did, if I can get to it, we did the, the tent and the horse dressed up as a unicorn. Um, so this was done with the Brute Funes, um, which is the round ones, and some glitter pens. And I think it was just... I'm not actually sure which ones it was to be honest. I got so many games, probably just my normal ones, my link shines. But yeah, it was fun. It was nice to do um, a buddy colour with Molly, and it's nice to get another page done in Romantic Country, the second tale, because this is one of the ones I only had one page done in. And I'm glad now that I've, I've done another one, so I'm really happy with that. So I really like that picture. Next is uh, Chibi Girls Volume 3 from April Amber. I finally, finally did one in here. I think this was done using the, uh, I think it was just the Ohuhu markers on the background in her hair. Let me just take that page out. But I used the dual hybrids on the bows, her outfit. And I used the gold dual hybrid as well. So these are the Pentel ones. I used them on this page. So you can see the um, lots of glitter it's on her entire outfit is, is done in that in dual hybrids. I just thought it would look nice and look very theatrical. So yeah, I enjoyed doing that one. I do like these books. I do like them. There we go. Then I did one in Bookish, a colouring book for bookworms. Both that one, this one, and the next one are all for Colour Your Horde 2021 um, from Lavella's uh, hashtag. And so this is Bookish Bookworms. And I did, of course, books are a girl's best friend. I haven't posted this on Insta, so I will do it later. Now I've actually titled the books. So I've got some glitter gel pen on it, and the books are called Icon and it just says Marilyn, but it doesn't say the rest of the title because I've got enough space to put it in. But it does say underneath the author, Michelle Morgan. Uh, so it's a tribute to two of my favorite books on Marilyn, which is the Icon books by Gary Vitico Rubles and Michelle's book, Marilyn, um, Private and Undisclosed, and all the other books she's written on Marilyn, including the new one that is coming out next year. So books are definitely this girl's best friend. And the last one I've got is from Jade Summer Kids Unicorns Colouring Book. Why this book is for kids, I don't know, because these unicorns are lovely. And I did this one entirely in gel pens, and it's unicorn love. So even the background is put a gel pen. That's just a, a black link showing one, I would imagine, because I've got millions of those. Uh, yeah, done with various different glitter gel pens. I just thought it'd be nice to do it in just your pens and like I said this is for the Verla's tag Colour My Horde 2021 so that is all the pages I've coloured this month not as many as I do normally but um, if you've been watching the weekly vlog and the current chats I've put up you'll know that there's been a lot going on so I'm going to call it a night let me know what you think what's your favourite page of the month I think I'm going to go with Ooh, it's a between Romantic Country and the Kelly Horton book because they're both really nice pictures. I enjoyed doing those this month. I hope you've enjoyed this and I will see you again very, very soon in the next video. Bye everybody. Have fun colouring. See you soon.